I rise in opposition to S-2781. And to be clear, I strongly support cleaning up abandoned mines, but this bill contains language that would undermine the cleanups it aims to support. It opens the floodgates for bad actors to take advantage of Superfund liability shields and loopholes created by this legislation for the very first time. Providing broad Superfund exemptions undermines our ability to protect the communities we're elected to serve. For example, during a cleanup, a so-called good Samaritan may do an inadequate job or make the toxic contamination at a site worse. And under this bill, they would not be held responsible for the harm that they cause. And by exempting polluters from liability, Congress would be shifting the cost of these cleanups onto the taxpayers, and I don't think that's right. I fear that Congress is opening a Pandora's box where every corporation and polluter will be asking for their own sweetheart Superfund exemption. What's more, this bill gives the incoming Trump Environmental Protection Agency administrator unilateral power to decide which entities are good Samaritans and which are not. The Trump EPA ha also has sole power to choose which sites get selected for the program and to determine if a site is truly cleaned up in a reasonable amount of time under vague terms that make it difficult to ensure that adequate protection for human health and the environment takes place. Now, EPA, the agency in charge of implementing the provisions of this bill, has also expressed serious concerns. The bill opens the program to additional litigation, takes away the possibility of downstream communities holding Good Samaritans accountable in case of a spill, and leaves taxpayers on the hook to pay for cleanup pollution that's discovered after a permit expires. For decades, the Superfund program, Mr. Speaker, has worked to clean up toxic sites across the nation, particularly those contaminated with radioactive material and heavy metals. It has a strong bipartisan history of cleaning up sites, regardless of location, or regardless of who's responsible, or which political party controls Congress or the White House. And I believe allowing the Trump EPA to politicize this successful law is a mistake. Giving the Trump EPA additional tools to undermine Superfund cleanups should not be the way to close out this Congress. Now, I want to mention, Mr. Speaker, that I have consistently been willing to work with bill supporters to address deficiencies to recognize the critical role that Good Samaritans play in mine cleanups while also making sure we don't create new toxic Superfund sites in the process. But unfortunately, attempts by, how, by me and others to improve this bill or alleviate those concerns has not, has, has not been granted or didn't take place. So I simply cannot support the way this bill is phrased. I urge a no vote and yield back the balance of my time.